Hi oh guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing, and we're Turbot Brill and Ray fishing up Bank de la Godine. Stay tuned. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Woo! Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Danny from Inglorious Fishing and today we've got Inshore Fishing Guernsey coming out with oi, us. Oi, how's it going? Beautiful. Well that only means one thing guys, it's this fabulous day. We're heading to the sandbanks to the south coast of Sark guys and we're going to be going for those elusive turbot and brill on the bank called Bank de Lagodi. It's a fabulous morning, we're going to start making our way there. Cue the music. trying to get a little bit of bait i'm just getting the feathers down it's not too bad up here to be fair jason's just sticking the sand eel on his rod that way he's got bait and then he'll drop that down guys but yeah we're just trying to catch some feathers uh some sand eels and mackerel and hopefully they reckon there ain't many turbot being caught up here so we're going to try and prove that theory wrong guys anyway i'll bring you back once we get some more bait well guys fish on I wouldn't say this is a turbot, mate. No. Oh, there's some weight there, though. Get the net out just in case, Ted. I reckon it might be a tote. Yeah? Well, I don't know. I don't want to say. Right, we've definitely got a fish on. It keeps slack lining me. Right. Might be a tote. Coming up with you. Yeah, I reckon that's a tote. Some weight there, boy. Not loads of weight. First drift, guys, as well. Happy days. Here we go. Dogfish. You're joking me. Doggy. Oh, well, I thought that was a turbot. That just shows I haven't caught one for that long, then. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what they feel like. Sorry about that, guys. I got overexcited then. There's me going, it's a tope, it's a turbot. It's a bloody big tope, check that out. <laughs> Lovely yeah. dogfish there. That ain't what we want, but we'll be keeping him for bait, guys. We're gonna go up for another drip. Let's get to it. Guys, big fish here. I don't know what this is. It's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Maybe a ray. Could be a ray. It's a big fish, guys. Don't even reach the head yet, mate. Can you bring your line in? 
Yeah. Well, if you leave it, you might be alright. My gears, I'll just spin the My bar. reels just come off. Eh? Look. It's alright, my handle's just come off, but I can deal with. No! My line. There's a line wrapped up around my oh, reel. Oh, Get a knife. This is a nice fish. Cut this line. Just cut it on my reel. Just here, cut it. Oh, oh where's that handle? That's it, watch out, watch out, watch out. We got problems here, guys! <laughs> this is a ray, I think. It's a nice fish. Look at the bend on that! That's decent, mate. I reckon you might have me. Poss I don't mind. Possibly. If not, I'm getting bites. Uh, it's probably swam into it. Yeah, I reckon. We got some line to gain back though, boy. Yeah. Don't want it coming off. I was just setting up my other rod, guys, and this rod took off. Literally screamed off. Yeah, nice fish, guys. This is what we came out for. Oi, oi. We're going to bend. Get ready with that net. Doing some runs at the start, boy. Yeah. Please be a turbot. That's a turbot or a brill. That's a turbo or a brew, that's a decent fish. Doesn't feel that big now. Come on, you've got more. Yeah. It's a turbo, bro. Is it right? I can't call it. I reckon it might be a It's a ray, yeah. Is it right? That's a big ray! Oh my god! Wait, wait there. Wait there, I've got it. It's a big ray. It's bag. It's in the bag, guys. Lovely fish, don't it? The hook's come out. Look. Oh no, it's just in the side of it. Oh, God, is that how you look? Yeah, lit. you beauty. That's a big male Raymond, that, guys. Big blonde ray. A few of these around at the moment. Get him out, give it a shot. Probably about 18 pounds, this ray, I'd say. Nice, Can't be mate. far from that, guys. Check that out for a fish. Lovely fish, that, mate. Big male ray, guys. Fantastic, big blonde ray. Happy with that, eh? <laughs> yeah. Happy with that, guys. Happy with that. you got your weight. Right. Well, guys, unfortunately for him, he's coming home for grand. So, uh, what's your rod? Your rod might go. We're yeah, coming yeah. over the head now. Fantastic guys, we'll give you a better show of him in a bit. What a fight that is. It's a shame it weren't a turbot. Hopefully we can get ourselves a turbot. But that's still a nice fish. Let's get back down guys, I'm at buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. So guys, there it is. This fish weighs approximately 19, 20 pounds. We just had it on the scales. I was gonna keep it for gran, but I've decided we're gonna let it go guys. So we're gonna get a little release of this for you. Fantastic, what a fish. Let's get you a release. So guys, we're gonna get rid of him now. He's putting ammonia everywhere. We're just going to lay him in the water there quickly. Just let him revive a little bit. Beautiful looking ray. Took my rug like a freight train, eh, mate? Yeah, it did. Off you go, buddy. There he goes, he's flapping. Yeah. He's just turning round. There he goes, he's turning. He's gone. Down he goes, chap. Let's go get some more. We want a turbo next time. Well, oh, guys, just feathering for some bait as we've come down over the head. I don't know what it is. I think it's a sand eel. It might be a mackerel. Well, it could be a mackerel, actually, by the way it's going. I'm calling mackerel. I reckon mackerel as well now. Yeah, look. Yeah. Call them oin. Nice one. That's what we want for bait, guys. Fantastic bait, the old mackerel. Get that off. Get straight back down. See if we can get a couple more. Be good if we can. Sorry about the water on the lens, guys. We just have water go on the lens. I'm coming over the head now, mate, to watch for any weight on your rod. Look, yeah. 
Look on the sound, I see. Oh, yeah. Do have a few more of those mackerel. Oh! That was a mackerel, I think. That's a nice size, though, as well, eh? Yeah, look, it's hot. Sound. Big bit of mackerel. I think it's mackerel. We could do have a few more mackerel, guys. Fantastic bait. I think this is a mackerel. Yeah, it's mackerel. Might have more than one. That's just the one. We're happy with that though, guys. We'll take these mackerel all day long. So we've had a big ray, a few mackerel, a few sand eels. We want some turbot and brill now, guys. Just coming over the head now. Yeah, there's mackerel down there. Jeez, up in it again. Yeah, this is mackerel. Lovely, nice bit of bait, mate. Yeah. <coughs> Just one. I hope we've got a couple. Yeah, two more. Bring them in. Get as many of these as we can. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Grab that rod. Fish? No. No? All right, leave it back then. Oh, I thought that was a turbo. Too interested in the mackerel fishing. This is all going on. Yeah. All coming on over this head, mate. We've just come further up on a different head. It's all going up. Well, I'll bring you back if we get any more fish. Fish on. Little mackerel there, look. Nice bit of bait. And Dan's uh, custom made mackerel feathers. Try and get some more. Nothing marking, but we're getting sand eels as well. What a day, yeah. So guys, we'll just give you a show of how we're prepping some of these mackerel here that me and Jason's just caught. So what I've done is, guys, I've flappered this mackerel here. There's a couple of ways you can flapper your mackerel. One way is going from the head and just flappering the body out there. Or another way is, this is how my mate Darren does it. He takes the tail off, he'll put his hook through that bit because it's nice and solid, and he'll just flapper the back bit. And uh, that's how he caught the mackerel last time. And then we're just doing a couple of fillets as well, guys. So three different ways of baits, guys. And hopefully that's going to get us these turbot and brill. Let's get on to it. Well, guys, Jason was just bringing his rod up. We were going to move for another drift. Nice little doggy there. Fat one, that one. He'll soon be pot bait, chap. Yeah, he's going for bait, unfortunately. So, uh, we're going to bring this other rod in, guys. And we'll go up for another drift and get these mackerel on. Hopefully we can get some topal turbot. Well, that ain't no dogfish. But I said to Jason, this might be a dogfish. I've got fish on here. I don't think this is no dogfish, guys. This is on the mackerel fillet, I believe. Might be a dogfish, but... It could be a dog. Not feeling as heavy. No, not now. But turbot, oh, I like that. It's been nice to see a turbot, mate. Would be, but just coming up to or a brill or something like that. Yeah, That's what yeah. we're after. This ain't fighting very well now. Could be a dog. Oh, well, I don't know. It's a lot of weight for a dog fish. Yeah, he might have just swung into my line. Right? Is it a dog? Yeah. That was on pretty quick though, eh? Yeah. We haven't got a lot of tide today, guys, so these are going to be a nuisance, but we're going to have to just try and get the fish in between them. But yeah, another dogfish there. He's going to be coming home for pot bait, guys. He'll go straight in my crab pot, so uh, it's his unlucky day. Not my greater day because we didn't want these dogfish, but like I say, I could still get a use for him, so. Like I say, he's coming home with us. All right, let's get this bait back out and try and get a turbot. <laughs> what a day. Yeah. Mackerel bonanza, guys. Full string, I reckon. Three, I can see. Four. Oh. 
Four Mackies, have that. So guys, we're in again, fish on. Now, I believe this feels like a turbot, but no, my lot, it's gonna be a dogfish caught up or something like that. But either way, we're gonna say it's a turbot for now. We're gonna treat it like a turbot. I'll just keep the constant pressure, guys. I see a couple of tap taps, I gave it a load of line. I reeled into it. I must admit, it's not feeling like a turbot now. I'll tell you what, it's feeling bigger. Yeah? What is that? Is that a ray? Don't know. Handle's come off again. I've got a dodgy reel as well, guys. So I apologise for that. I've got a nice bend in the rod, but yeah, see now it feels like a dogfish. Now it don't. <laughs> Might just be a dogfish curled up in the Wrapped tide. Up, yeah. Might be a small turbot kiting in the tide. Should be seeing it soon. Yeah. It feels like a dogfish. That's, that's it. Is it? Is it? No, no, grab the net, grab the net. It's a turbot, it's a big one. Grab it. It's not a big one, but it's a nice one. Let's go on that. Oh, you. What, grab it. Quick, don't let it spit the up. You beauty, turbo wurbo! Happy days. Have man. it. Oh, yeah, that's a four or five pound turbo. Have that, mate. Nice Woo! one, mate. Have that. Well done. Nice one guys, four or five pound turbot there. Happy days. And they say they're not catching turbot, eh? Check that out guys, target fish acquired. Seen a couple of small taps, tap tap on the rod. So I looked at Jason, even Jason see that, I thought, yeah. play a little bit of line out. And fantastic, look at that for a hookup guys. Let me just step over that. Look at that for a hookup, straight in the top of the lip. I put two bits of mackerel on. I put the belly of it because I thought, oh yeah, that'd be attractive for the uh, turbot. And sure enough, it's done the business. No, We're not even on the main bank yet. Look no, at that. No. So guys, check that out. I apologize for the camera just running out of battery there. Lovely, brilliant white underneath. Look at the pattern there. That's our, all their coloration of where they're sitting on the seabed because it's all shells and stuff like that and they blend right in. Fantastic, guys. This is what we wanted. This is what we come up for. I haven't had one of these for a long time. Fantastic. Let's get our bait back down, see if we can get some more. You beauty, that's a lovely four or five pound turbot. Let's get some more. So guys, time is currently 12 o'clock. Um, the tide has dropped right off now. We're hardly moving. We're almost doing pirouettes. So we're going to pull the rods up shorty and we're going to start making our way back home, guys. And we're going to do the lobster pots. Hopefully, we've got a few giant lobsters in there. Well, guys, we're literally just pulling up the rods to go. I've got a fish on. I'm not sure what it is, whether it's a turbot or a dogfish. I don't really want to call it. I'm hoping it's a turbot, but it could be a dog. Nice to end the session with another turbot, mate. It would be, mate, yeah. Feels a little bit heavy for a dogfish. What is that? Dogfish? Dogfish. Another dogfish there, guys. Just as I was ringing up the last rod, so, uh, yeah, that just goes to show you there's not no tide now, so get this off the hook and start making our way home, guys. Cue the music. Let's start heading home.
but guys, first strings up. First pot, small spider crab, not worth keeping that, so that's gonna go back. Small brown crab there. And got a velvet swimming crab there. Second pot though, guys. Small spider crab there. We got a lobster there. I think that's going to be a keeper, guys. That's a male. I'll give him a check in a second, but that looks like it's going to be a keeper. I'll have to give it a check, though, guys. He's obviously lost his crusher claw at some point and it's growing back, but that's fantastic. That's a lovely little lobster. So I'm going to bake these up, guys, get them out, and we'll get on to the second set. You beauty. Get on to that second set. So guys, second string this one. We did really well today off on the ray and turbot fishing. It's fantastic. At least we have one ray and one turbot. And we've also had one keeper lobster as well. That lobster was in. Beautiful male lobster. Hopefully we get some more in this second set, guys. Lobster? Yeah. Lobster! Second pot, guys. Hopefully, we get a lobster in this one. It never catches lobsters, this pot. Never. All right, guys. Let's show you what we got. So, guys, pot number one. First bit, we got a spider crab there right in the front. Little male spider crab. Then we've got another male spider crab and a big female spider crab, guys. You can tell that's a female by the pouch there, her apron. She's a little bit stuck there, so... I'm going to have to give her a hand in a minute. I'll get her out. Second pot though, guys. A couple of spider crabs there in the front. But if you check this out, I'm going to send you in. Lovely lobster there, guys. Check that out. That's a beauty. I think that's going to be a keeper. We'll get it out, give it a measure. And uh, yeah, get on to the next set. Let's do it. Get on to that next set, guys. First pot's on the way up, guys. Lobster. Oh, Two lobsters. One's definitely a keeper. No claws, though. Oh, no. Two lobsters in that one, guys. One's a big one. Second pot's here as well, guys. We're doing all right on the lobsters so far. Let's give you a show of what we got. So guys, first string, first pot. There you go. Small spider crab in that one, not worth our while. But in this second pot, check the size of that lobster. Check the size of that male lobster. Imagine if that had claws. That would have been a, nice that would have been a beautiful lobster. He's still coming home though. The old girl will love his tail. So he's coming home. And we've also got another one. That's too small, that one. Oh, still check it. But I think he's going to be too small, that one. Yeah, that one's a bit too small. We'll give him a measure anyway, guys. And then what we got is a couple of spider crabs. Be getting rid of them, baking them up. Get them to the last three. Let's do it. Let's get on to those next three. Look at all that weed on that ghost pot. You're telling me that that gets pulled? Yeah, that gets pulled. Huh? Lobster, lobster is it? Yeah. Well, guys, after that palava, there's not a lot in these pots. But I do have a little lobster there. It's not going to be enough to keep, unfortunately, but... Nice to see that little lobster, guys. So the fourth string didn't do that well. I'm gonna bait them up and we get onto the fifth and sixth set. Let's go to these last two. Second 
Got a rasp. Made me a rock clip. Guys, I'm not going to take you out the mount for this one. Not a lot in here. First pot. Three bearded rockling. There you go, guys. Three bearded rockling. Beautiful looking fish. But unfortunately for him, he's going to be pot bait. So uh, he's going straight in the salt. So that's it for that pot. In the second pot, we have a small lobster. And there it is, guys. Beautiful small lobster. Great representation of the small lobsters round Guernsey. Check that out for a beautiful lobster. We're going to get him back. One small spider crab as well, guys. Bake these up, get them out, and get onto that last set. Let's do it. Last string guys, hopefully we get another keeper lobster. First pot's on the way up guys. Last one, Chag. Yeah. And I might get out and do some of mine. That's right. So guys, last string. First thing, we got a shanker there. That's not a bad brown crab, that. We're going to keep him. We're going to have him. That's a nice brown crab. Got a nice little lobster there, guys. Far too small for what we want, so we're going to be releasing him. Beautiful claws, as always. Beautiful coloration. Fantastic. Uh, small spider crab there. And we got a couple of small spider crabs in there, guys. And we got a nice big one here. That's a nice big spider crab. Those are the size you want if you're going to eat them. So, uh, we'll get that back in there, guys. And we're going to start making our way in now. Cue the music, guys. Let's make our way back home. So guys, we're all back in now. The boat's been all cleaned down. We went out turbot and ray fishing, guys. We had one small turbot there, about four pound. It was just great to catch one. We don't normally catch one recently. I've been struggling and struggling to catch these elusive flatfish. But finally, we had a nice four pounder and we had that ray of just over 19 pounds, between 19 and 20 pounds, guys. So uh, absolutely great trip out with Inshore. Really enjoyed it. If you want to check out more fishing like I do, guys, go and give Inshore a like and subscribe. Uh, fantastic channel. It does turbot fishing, boat fishing, you name it. It does exactly the same as me. So, uh, yeah, we hope you enjoyed it, guys. Turbo Werbos, you can't beat that. Fantastic. We hope to catch you on the next one, guys. See you later. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. See you next time.